We complain that we are broke. Nigeria have no money. This crude sold. Money deposited in the same foreign account. Now, all these years, nobody have taken the initiative. Even the motion that I move us at that time, that motion is still here, which is clear. Urgent need to investigate the over $17 billion stolen from undeclared crude oil and liquefied natural gas export to global destination. This that took goes, place that in 2016. In, that goes back to your time in the House of Representatives. Yes. yes. Correct. And this was the eighth Correct. session. And a session. Correct. And uh, the speaker then, Honorable Yakubu Dugara, supported me and with other leaders of the House of Rep then. And uh, of course, our leader then was uh, Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller, who was very, very supportive. I have to appreciate every one of them who gave me the moral support. And at the end of the day, it was investigated, report made, and I'll tell you this, in fairness, the government, the present government under the leadership of President Mohamed Buhari, took it upon themselves to sue these companies. They sued some of these companies, okay. and they engaged Nigerian lawyers, Nigerian lawyers. But unfortunately, some of these lawyers derail the will of progress in moving forward that the lead counsel to this case was Anthony Jerome Stalin from the United States, who later told me, after traveling to the U.S. to go and have a very serious meeting with him, he said that he's not coming back to Nigeria again. I said, why? He said, because the Nigerian government, the lawyer that they engaged to even help the government, have decided to sabotage the case. So the only way, the only way out is to take the litigation to the United States of America. That is the only way we can have a headway. Before you, go, before you proceed, um, you, you were saying that... Yeah. At the origin of this matter, the uh, then Minister of Petroleum, Dieziani, you know, was not for the uh, investigation. She, she actually was against it. But yeah, she, she, opposed, she opposed the investigation, but at least the Mr. President then took, Insisted. You know, took it upon himself to do the needful. Yeah. Any particular, do you have an understanding of why um, she would have, opposed the investigation uh, since she was it was her responsibility and if there was any matter about um, you know Nigeria is losing money surely she should want to know about it and get to the bottom of it do you have any 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 notion at all as to why she might have opposed that kind of an investigation but I think I think that question well I think is a uh, I, I want to appreciate your question but <laughs> What is important now is the way forward. Even though she opposed it, the former president stood his ground. And that is why the matter went forward. And uh, Tom Polo said that it must be done, and it came to pass. So I don't want to dwell you know, whether the reason why she opposed it or not. Yes, the investigation went on, and the end result, yeah. the report was conducted, and I would have expected by now, after seven years, I have been invited to the House of Rep to come and throw more light on the looted, undeclared crude oil that left our yes. soil to global destination. Yes. Unfortunately, Nigeria, we are highly blessed by God. Natural resources, mineral resources, human capacity. God has given us everything, but we have been our worst enemy. Okay. Nigeria today is bleeding. We say we have no money. Nigeria is highly blessed. Nigeria is rich. So there's no reason for us to be complaining that we have no money. Our money apart, apart from is internal, outside the country. Stolen apart from internal by the cabal. It is the same Nigerians that connive with the IOC, International Oil Companies, and some Nigerian companies. 
And unfortunately, NLPC have to come out clean. I'm sorry to say this. I've been saying this over the years. And I believe one day somebody will understand where I'm coming from. Because uh, what, if we have what, all these resources, alluding to there? there's no reason you our youth... Are you alluding Excuse to me? the fact that there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff inside knowledge, by which I mean knowledge, within the NNPC that they have to come clean about? Was that, did I understand you properly? Was that what you meant? I'm very clear. I'm very clear on that. I've been saying this over the years. I've been saying this over the mm. years. 